you're looking for the best laptop editing computer on the freaking market. I got you. Mm, dope. My name is Danny Matthews and today I'm gonna be showing you the top three best laptops on the market for video editing. Understand that all these computers will get the job that you need to get done well done it will be done well it will all these computers will be able to get the job that you need to get done done well you also have to understand that this is an investment guys this is not something that you're trying to save a buck or two on you want to be a better video editor you want to take yourself to the next level so this is why you're getting these laptops all right guys at the bottom of the pack we have the xps 15 laptop now real quick keep in mind that the things that you're looking out for is you want to make sure that this has a lot of cores that has a very good gpu has a very good cpu and make sure that it has a good amount of space for ram because you want your computer to be able to access that memory as quick as possible and that is going to be in reflection to when you render something you want to be able to have access to that render quickly right so the more space you have for rendering the quicker you can get through your projects so coming back on here, you can see that this has one of the newest Intel core, I think is the newest Intel cores here. It's an i9, has up to 14 cores and has up to 5.0 gigahertz, um, which is probably boosted, but that's crazy. Like you're, you're pushing this thing. This thing's pushing out a lot of information. For reference, I talked about my MSI in my last desktop video, and that thing was a freaking baller and it was maxing out at 3.5 gigahertz. So five is just crazy, crazy to me to think about. Come over here, we have Windows 11 and then Come on to our video cards. We have a GeForce RTX G50 Ti. This is a very powerful graphics card. And like I said in the beginning, you won't have any issue with any of these laptops. It's all based on preference on what things that you want more in your laptop. Now coming in here to memory, we have, I selected the 32. You really won't need more than 32. If you really want to just make sure that you're full proof in this thing, future proof in it, go for that 64 gigabytes. It's not going to hurt you as much in the pricing. I think it changes about, yeah, what, 300 bucks, $300, which, and your mind's like crazy, but it's it's gonna help you down the road. You wanna make sure that you have at least 500 gigabytes. I would push towards a terabyte. And here for our LCDs, we have different types of LCDs here. An OLED is gonna be way better in your graphics. And you can see that this is 4K, or uh, well, it says 3.5K, but it's, it's pretty much 4K definition and anti-reflection, which is awesome, but this one has it too. So what is a nit? 400 nit, what, what the heck is a nit? A nit is how bright a screen is compared to putting it right in direct sunlight. Light. For example, uh, iPhone knit light is around, I think, two to 300. So that kind of gives you a good reference of where this is at. So we can see after we max this bad boy out, we're at $3,200. Like I said, this is an investment. This is not something that you're trying to save money on. And that's going to be at the bottom of our pack. Moving on to number two. And I highly suggest this. This is the creator line. I actually got the first laptops that they created for the creator section. They specialize in gaming and now they're pushing over to creative specifically for people who use uh, Adobe heavily. And so we can see here, this one's probably the best one that you can get from MSI. Uh, Creator Z17 is the newest one that they came out with, 17 inch. You can actually get a 15 or 16 inch as well. Coming in here, just kind of showing more about what this is. Uh, you can see right here is an i9 Intel, same as the other one, the 12th generation, and has 14 cores. And coming down to this, it's actually a touchscreen with a pen. Very unique. I don't know if that's something that you guys like, um, but that is an option that you have here and you can see this is actually after effects really cool i've never seen uh, any kind of computer with this kind of advertisement so that's really cool to see that it's specifically for this and like hey you creators who are looking for things that can help you this, this computer is going to be it's going to be helping you out a whole lot all right come over here to true pixel display this is really awesome i had it in the original one that i had and i love this because you can color grade on this without being worried about your, your colors don't know if you know this but in every single monitor your colors are actually different and this one's going to be the most true to life and the most true to most displays and it's gonna be the highest performing uh, display out there so this is a really awesome perk that they have in here and coming down here they have a really cool cooling boost and this is really awesome I had this in my original MSI when I had the creator line it the fans are ridiculously loud but it pushes out so much heat so it can process faster and that's how you can boost this up to um, you know higher gigahertz in, in rendering and all of that over here we have 90 watt hours of battery life that's that's freaking crazy that's pretty dope over here is really cool they started incorporating these Thunderbolt 4 which in your world is going to be a C port and you can have these options now which is really cool most non Mac things don't have this so it's really cool that this is coming out over here we can see all of our specifics in here we can see that it's a QLED 
HD display and it's true pixel and all of that fun stuff. And we went through all of this. This computer has a NVIDIA, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 380 Ti, which is at the top graphics card right now on the market. This is freaking baller, guys. You wanna have something that's over eight gigabytes, any kind of GPU rendering, very important that you have this. And over here, we can see that this is very light. Like these are all just some things that you might want for your preference. Unfortunately, it doesn't hit that 4K, but it is a 2.5K monitor, which honestly, guys, I won't even worry about that. And you can save a little bit extra bucks around there. Now, this is not cheap. <laughs> this computer on Amazon starts at around 4,000 something. It starts at $4,450. Uh, that's kind of crazy, uh, especially because the next one I'm about to show you is, is $1,000 cheaper. For my opinion, much better power and processing power. Um, but this is an amazing computer. You, you won't be, I mean, hey, it's got two terabytes hard drive disk right here. That's crazy. So this is awesome. Like, this is freaking wicked. I, I honestly, watching this, I was like, frick, I want to buy this. You know what I'm saying? But come over here. This is going to be our number one. This is the best computer laptop out there. For all you people this is going to be our macbook pro now i know that the number one on the desktop is the macbook studio but you have to understand i used to hate mac so i'm not being biased when i say that this m1 chip is freaking remarkable and nothing i've never seen such a thing on the market before and this is going to be something that's going to be the most processing power that you can literally have for a great price this is maxed out right now this, this 10 core gpu 32 sorry cpu 32 core GPU and has 32 gigabytes of unified RAM. So it's at 35. Now you're going, hey, this doesn't have over here to what, what's going on in here. It doesn't have the two terabytes and all on all that. But this is $4,500 for the highest Intel has to offer. And i9 is not better than M1 chip. I'm telling you that right now. And 32 gigabytes unified memory is actually a little bit more than that because it also uses storage for extra RAM that most people don't know about. And that's why the M1 chip is so much cooler. And also everything is in one chip. So everything is communicating way quicker and way faster. And I know it's like, oh, that's a short distance, but like time is what's happening here that you want to save time and everything. That's why you're going to have faster rendering and faster and all of that. So this computer for $3,500 guys is beating, is beating both of these in actual performance as well as is cheaper. That's $3,500. Now, if you want to look for something that's like more your like style and your more friend, you have different sizes here. You got 13, 14 and 16 inch. Honestly, guys, this 13 inch, I've used the heck out of this computer. This is freaking remarkable for eight core cpu eight core gpu this thing won't disappoint you and adds a price point of fifteen hundred dollars definitely worth it guys you have the 14 inches where you have the m1 pro and you have all of this options as well as i just went to the m1 max to have the most powerful computer out there laptop right now this is the one that you want to buy hands down there's a top three laptops on the market that i suggest buying i uh, definitely go through them and see what you kind of feel and what you want i'm telling you right now that the macbook won't disappoint you and it will be the best one it's just that whole idea of converting over to Mac is sometimes un, uneasy for people and something that they don't want to do. But I've done it. I, I used to hate Mac and, and now this is just, it's just crazy what they've created with this M1 chip. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and leave it down below in the comments and I'll get back to you guys on that ASAP. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Hmm, dope. I swear I'm here in spirit. I just got tired of doing the outro and no one watching it, so.